just leaving Mohawk, uh, you know, this is a tough game sometimes to put things into perspective, right? You have a bad night and then everything comes crashing down and you just, the world's against you, right? That's how you feel. And we've been lucky enough not to have very many of those nights. Monday night was one of those nights where everything just, you know, snowballed. You know, it just seemed like, um, yeah, it was a bad night. It was a bad night. Tuesday, the horses trained good, a little uplifting. Wednesday, the horses trained good, starting to feel better. Now, today, um, we had two, three, four horses going to Mohawk. So I get to the burn. You know, and, and you can tell it's a good day because one of our caretakers didn't show up. They weren't feeling good. Uh, so they stayed home and everybody else was pitching in, which is a great feeling, right? The last thing you want to do is get to the barn and see a bunch of frowny faces. Makes for a very bad day all around. So I was so uplifted to see everybody chipping in and helping one another out. So then I uh, come over to Mohawk and I, Harry had a horse to school, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure out who it was. I knew that Mario needed me to go with Massive Profit. I pull into the into the into the track. Mario said Massive Profit ripped a shoe off. Now Massive Profit or not Massive Profit, I'm sorry. Um Stonebridge Akati ripped a shoe off. Now I can tell you why the track was very deep this morning, very deep this morning. And um probably just grabbed it, ripped it off. So I put it back on myself. Borrowed the blacksmith's gear, I put it on myself. Went out and he ripped the shoe off again behind the gate and made a break. Uh, whatever, it's not the end of the world. He'll be back next week. He needed two school, two qualifiers anyway. I suspect next week's will be a flat line. No hobbles, which I was a little surprised with, but happy. Horse looked good. Uh, and no hobbles on massive profit, which I knew. Um, I got away fourth, just went easy with him. As I said to Mario, track was just really deep. You could feel him working down the lane. Now, if I kick the earplugs out and really go at him, I think I run down the horse, but for what? They go in two, two, and four, two, three. So uh, a good qualifier, but he's going to need to come back with one, right? As I said to Mario, he fits in on one as a two. So there's no point racing him until he's ready to trot in 58. He might need a qualifier and a schooler, but he was good today. Did his work well, was very quiet and confident, methodical about the way he went through it. Wasn't rushed, wasn't excited, just felt like an experienced horse, which is good. That's what we're supposed to train them to become. So very happy, as far as speed-wise, we already know the horse can trot 57, 58. There's no two ways about that. So he did it as a two-year-old, and he's a better horse now than he was then. So I'm certainly not concerned with concerned with the speed it will come. Uh, Stonebridge Akati, yes, you never want to see a break, but easily explained, he didn't just rip the one off. He ripped the other one off getting into the last turn. So he actually ended up coming the last half, Mario said, better than 59 in the qualifier with no shoes on up front. So I guess we're going to have to rethink the flip-flops if the track's going to be a little deep. We're getting closer to spring now. Are we going to need corks for uh, for Mohawk? Probably not. So um, probably going to have to rethink how we have uh, Hakati shot up front. But either way, the horse was good. The horse was really good this morning. And then I had the schoolers. I knew a Glarium was going over. And of course, I'll tell you what. You guys, you know, I, I don't say it enough how... how serious James takes the burn, right? This is a kid that if he just showed up and jogged a few horses, yeah, I helped my brother out in the morning, but I, I you know, I'm the leading driver in Canada all, all night because that's what he is. He calls me, he messages me from Mexico this morning at 8.30 and says, hey, you know, Iggy's qualifying. She's been in 2-4. You know, he's worried that I'm going to go out and, <laughs> and let her rock, which I might have done. No, I wouldn't have done that. And not today anyway. Um... He said, you know, just, you know, she's probably ready to go in two, three, which no, she's ready to go in two minutes, but whatever. Uh, he said, she's probably ready to go in two, three, just go easy with her. And then I couldn't remember who Harry had, and then it dawned on me, it was Bolt Power. I haven't sat behind Bolt Power yet. I'm nothing, I have no idea how he travels, what he's like, but I knew that Harry said he was ready to go. Got away like fifth with Bolt Power, maybe fourth, rode the wood around the last turn. They started to, you know, as the track was very taxing on some horses, I snuck him out in the last turn, he paced 20, he might have paced 26 and four. But he definitely paced 27 on the end of it. And that's just me roaring at him and tapping him on the tail. He was well in hand, 58, a last quarter. And like I said, it could have easily been 26 and 4. But it was definitely 27 otherwise. He was very, very good. This is a nice horse. Nice horse. So very impressed with Bolt Power this morning. Then I went out with the Glarian, much the same. I suspect James may not have even known. But somewhere around 
eleven thirty five in the morning at Me on the beach in Mexico. He had a big smile on his face and he had no idea why. Because I run them both up the wood and had them both trotting and pacing hard on the end of it. Uh, at Glare AM, she might have come twenty seven a piece, come twenty eight easy. Um and was running down a couple of pacers. Went by one, and the other one got up the inside beater. Two one, like I said, she probably paid, trotted a half and fifty seven and a piece, and did it easy. Ear hood on, well in hand. She looked good. You know, both those schoolers just left me, had me leaving the track with a smile on my face. Yes, Captain Mike Dio probably going to go easy on him tonight. He doesn't need to be butchered tonight, and he'll be heading to Pennsylvania and Ohio soon. So there's no rush with Captain Mike Dio. For those of you out there saying is Anthony going to roll him? No. Not going to roll. I'm probably going to drive him like I drove bolt power. And if he can come 27 in a piece, he too will likely head to the winner's circle. But it'll probably an easier trip for Bolt tonight, or for uh, Captain Captain Mike Dio tonight. Um, Kings County, a quick look at the program here. I'm looking at it. You know, he hasn't been, fa he wasn't fantastic last week, but well, I guess the easiest way to put it is if he trots and he's not a, an ounce better than he was last week, he still should win pretty handily. This is a fairly... Uh, fairly light group for Kings County. So, it, you know, you can never take anything for granted in horse racing. We've all seen that. We know that. But looking a quick look at this program, it looks like he's a, a cut above. Now, not nah, Archie Starr. I, I was just going to say he won in 55, but that was in August at Georgian Downs. So he's off August to February. He's hurt himself at some point. He's going to need a couple of starts. Uh, two horse just doesn't know the rail horse. These horses just don't aren't, aren't good horses, right? Not right now, anyway. Um, another one, Texaco Man. There's, you know, 55 is a four-year-old. He's not a good horse either. Ridgemount Sun. You know, pretty easy class. If he's good and I, and I don't completely... I would have to try harder to lose than win to get him beat in here, I, I think. But he looks... Uh, he, he's had a great week. He's looked good. So if he behaves himself coming out of the gate, if he does everything right the way I expect him to, should be fine. Uh, and then Captain Mike Dio in the fourth. Looks good. Pretty happy with him tonight. And then we got so-and-so, the little lunatic from Ohio, is in tonight with the rail. She's as good as these horses. Now, you know, is she going to be a, a... Is she supposed to win? No. I'd like her to grab a, grab a check. It'd be good, though. She's the last horse of all the horses we put on on gate over the last two months to sell. She's the last one standing. Uh, I had her price pretty high on on gate, too. So I suspect if she races good tonight, we may have a, a little more watered-down offer for her. Uh, moving forward, but still uh, my thought process is probably to move her at some point. So uh, So and Sue, Captain Mike Dio, Kings County should be pretty good tonight. I hope I hope that So and Sue behaves herself and brings her head square on her shoulders tonight to race. Um, as I said, the schoolers were absolutely fantastic today. Like really breathed a lot of breathed a lot of optimism into me because Monday's tough to take, especially, it's not just for me. I, those weren't just words that I gave you on Monday. Hey, you know, these things happen and we have to realize that we've been blessed with a really, really good run over the last year and, you know, we race horses over their head. These are all true and they hit me hard too. It's not just, I'm not just standing on a soapbox telling you. That's it coming from me too. It hit me really hard was that we had a really bad night Monday. Really, Royson's punch was the only one that, um, that I was hoping that I looked at and thought could win. The other three were, were you know, uh, how do we find our way to get a check with these horses? So uh, need to do a better job and find better classes for our horses. I suspect um, White Tiger and Locatelli aren't long for the field, right, for a little rest. Locatelli, Harry asked me maybe to race him in there once more, try and get some of that money off his card for when he comes back. That's a fair option. That's not to say that we're not going to try with the horse. We're certainly going to try with the horse, but he can't beat the open. Run him up the wood just like Sylvain did. Hope for the best. Who knows? Long shot one at the other week. You never know. Uh, and White Tiger, I uh, felt a little flat to me the other day, but track really wasn't his liking. Again, that deeper track um, with those bars on. Not the best situation now that I say that out loud. Kings County wears those same bars. So um, just trying to get our horses situated around. We just sent some horses to Ohio. Uh, Jason is going over there Friday. Going to train the horses on Saturday. Going to train the new horse, Levator. A lot of people asking, when's he going to race? He'll train Saturday. He won't race this Wednesday coming up. The following Wednesday is when he'll go. The reason being is I think we can hopefully win with Jekyll and Hyde. And then he'll be on on gate and sell pretty quickly. That will give us a spot for Mama Knows Best. And, oh, James just messaged me, 1209 in Mexico. I sent him a message. I said, relax. The horses were fantastic this morning. He said, good to hear. So, I, and going back to that, you know, uh, it just goes to show you how lucky we are. Not only do we have the leading driver in Canada that, that comes to the burn, 
but takes a very serious interest in the barn. You know, he's on vacation. These are the things that I do, right? He's on vacation and still keeping an eye on our horses. So, um, so that's a, a real feather in our cap. So going to get Levator in a week from Wednesday. That is why. So a lot of people asking when he's going to be ready to go. We change the shoes. We change the equipment to the way we want it. He's going to he's going to train Wednesday morning. So I suspect Jason will train him pretty hard at, at Northfield Park on Saturday. Uh, for this will be this Saturday. He'll race ten days after that. We might even get a might be make more sense to train a mile and a half Saturday and school him on Wednesday because I'm going to be there. That might be the better plan. That's the new plan. <laughs> it just came into my head. We're gonna we're gonna train a mile and a half on Saturday with all the gear and shoes on. Then we're gonna school him Wednesday as we race uh, Mama Knows Best and Jekyll and Hyde. And then the following Wednesday, we'll race likely Mama Knows Best in Levator. That's the class I want him for his first start. That will be his stepping stone into the stable. Where do we go from there? That will be on him. So that's the plan with those horses. A number of three-year-olds, as you can see, getting ready to go right now in um, here in Ontario and in Ohio. Moving a lot of horses around. A little transition work going on now. That doesn't mean we're still lo not looking for horses. We are if they fit the classes we need. They still have not told us, they, you know, I don't know if they're really going to show us what they need in Ontario, but I know what they need in Ohio and Pennsylvania. I've been looking closely at what they need and where they're going to go. I've been talking to Tim and talking to Jason. One way or another, we're going to formulate a plan to have all our horses in the right places again where we thought we had them to begin with. Friday, I'm heading to, weather permitting, I'm heading to New Jersey. They already canceled one flight. I booked a flight with United Airlines. They canceled it. I booked a second flight. Not to Newark, but to JFK on Friday morning um, to drive Eldis Patrick. If they cancel that, then I won't be there. But as of right now, I'll be in uh, JFK Airport 11 o'clock in the morning over to the Meadowlands to race at night and then back to JFK for a 9.45 flight back to Buffalo because Saturday I'm going to be here to train all the babies. Set lists, for those of you who sneak in the back end and look at us working on the set lists, I'll be working on those today. We'll have those out to you uh, likely Friday. No, there won't be a drone. There's too much wind there for a drone on Saturday. But all the horses, except for two or three, uh, Swinging Senorita has been sick this week. Um, now, History Blues is better today, so he may go Saturday. But there was Swinging Senorita. Rito, Rito uh, Legacy uh, spiked the temperature a little bit this morning. A little bit filled up in her throat, too, so she's a little under the weather. And then there was one other horse. Um, one other horse. I think as of right now, we may have three scratches for Saturday, but everybody else will be going. So with that, I'll let you guys go. A little uplifting speech for Wednesday. It's been a fantastic Thursday. It's been a fantastic day here in Ontario. The schoolers were great. Qualifiers were pretty good. Don't worry, Hakati will be back next week. The horse is fine. Lost both his front shoes today. We'll rectify that for next week. Uh, three racing tonight and a lot more going on. I will talk to everybody soon. I hope you're having a great day and a great week. Take care.